Hey guys, welcome back. So, this is the second video on my Max Air fan. I installed it about two years ago and hasn't exactly been a great um, investment. You know, at the one year mark, the circuit board lost its mind. I did a video on that, on how to replace it. And shortly after, it started chirping. And I had to listen to it all last year. And this year, I've kind of had enough. I've, I started fiddling around with it, trying to figure out where the chirping's coming from. So let me show you what I'm talking about as far as chirping goes. So it comes and goes. Sometimes it gets really obnoxious. And right now, I'd say it's somewhere in between. Anyway, I was convinced it was the fan blade. And if I zoom in here, you'll see the fan, it's pretty unbalanced. It's kind of wobbling up and down. But, you know, there is a set screw here. And, you know, I've been loosening this fan blade, kind of adjusting it, tweaking it. Nothing really matters. So on a whim, I kind of just removed the fan blade altogether. And let me show you what I found. It's not the fan blade at all. It's the actual motor. So, you know, I've been looking on it, trying to find if there's any port to oil it, and there is none. So I'm gonna uninstall that motor, get it on the bench and take a closer look at it to see if there's anything that can be done to quiet that motor. So give you a closer look at what we're dealing with here. This is the connector that the fan wires go to. Now, ideally it would be as easy as plugging that and just fishing the wire out, but not quite so easy. If I go up here, you can see where the wire goes in and there's a screw, it's a cap with a screw on either side. So I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to film this while getting those screws out, but that's what I'm gonna do next, is just remove those two screws, get the cap off, or at least loose, and that should allow the, uh, the connector to pull through. So not much to see here. I actually have to get this clip off. I want to take the cover all the way off, but there seems to be a ball bearing in there and um, seems very quiet. So guessing the issue is not on this side.
I'd like to take credit for it, but honestly, I didn't see anything wrong with it, so I just put it back together. Right now it's on. Can't hear a thing. So, I don't know what to say. Other than, it, these screws seem to be very tight. You know, and potentially it was sandwiched so tight that the end of the shaft on the armature was hitting maybe this plate just a bit. Not sure, but I'm not going to tighten it or over tighten it, I should say. I'm just going to put it back together like this and see, see if it continues to work like this. Okay, mostly back together, at least together enough to run it. And as you can probably hear, it is very quiet. And that's the way it should be. So I'm gonna kinda keep it in limbo like this for a few days, just let it run. And if it continues to run like this, then I'll put it back together. So let me, um, let me hit pause here and uh, turn you back on in a few days. Well, it's been a few days. Things are running pretty quiet. There was an hour or two where it started to chirp a little bit. Nothing like it was before. So I'd like to say it's fixed, but honestly, my confidence is pretty low. I didn't really do much other than take it apart, put it back together. So I decided instead of dealing with this in the future to just purchase a new motor. So that's what I did. Anyway, I'm gonna shut this thing off throw the new motor in, we'll do a quick test, make sure it's quiet, and uh, just put this thing back together.
Okay, all back together, more or less, except for the screen. And I did cheat. I already ran it before putting it all together because I don't want to waste any time. And um, let me show you what I found. I traded a chirp for a click. It's pretty disappointing, actually. You know, a hundred dollar motor shouldn't have these problems. And the last motor had very few hours on it, so kind of at a loss. I mean, I go if you if you go down to a uh, you know a store and buy a box fan for twenty bucks for the window, you're not going to have any of these noises. So I don't know. Not a very good experience so far. You know, the first year I owned it, it was the circuit board blue. Now the, f the motor is just not quite right. Not to mention the wobbly fan. So, not too impressed. If you guys have one of these fans, please let me know if you're having similar issues and um, if you have any fixes for this sort of thing. Anyway, hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.